Uh, at least initially what we're looking at is a model that's based very closely on uh, what the Red Center is currently using. Um, that's a 65-35 split based, I'm sorry, based on uh, population and calls for service. Okay. Cost allocation here has been discussed numerous times, and I think this is probably one of the first times that we've kind of focused in on a, a startup formula for for uh, the cost allocation. Uh, Mayor Berman, do you agree that this is towards our focus? I, I do. I do, and uh, if you look at the total cost per entity in Ashland and Worcester, uh, we can show cost savings. Operation lens of it, it was where we are now. Yes, it's significant for us. I'm asking for us to adopt this as our startup process with the understanding that as other entities uh, may join, that uh, it may be, need to be refined. Or we would have the option of refine, uh, refining the, the uh, allocation. Does that seem reasonable? That's a reasonable assumption on it. Uh, I know the numbers are, are uh, relatively uh, fresh, so uh, I just want to make sure everybody is, is comfortable with the, what they're seeing on the paper and uh, make sure that the idea of the 6535 uh, split is, is agreeable with all, all entities involved. I mean, that's the discussion that we've been having for right. for many years now, so. Uh, yeah. Well, that's the percentage that works in, in, at the Red Center, and I think the, the reasoning behind that is that they have entities that are only fire, and they have entities that are only law enforcement. So they have determined that the usage of the dispatch center is that percentage, fire versus law enforcement. So it would be unfair to all fire only entity to pay half their share of half of the dispatch center when they really don't use it as much. Right. And so that's why that's separated out at that rate. And I think that's a good model to work with. It works there, it's worked there for some years. Yeah. And since Ashland and Worcester are, are very similar entities, both with, with fire and EMS and uh, PD calls, uh, if, if there's a wheel out there and it works, uh, Let's give her a try and tweak as, as we need to down the way. So we'd be approving the general concept of sharing costs uh, based on a certain percentage on actual fire calls and a certain percentage uh, allocated based on population for police calls. That percentage, we've done one option here, but that percentage could be tweaked depending on who might choose to join. And I think, as Mayor Brenneman pointed out, and others of us that are familiar with the Red Center room, this is basically a tried and true, true process that's been in place for many years and uh, functioning uh, well. And I think, uh, personally, that gives us a platform to start from. And uh, if, if there's a proven need to uh, revise it, I think we have the option to revise it if that need is proven. Actually, I was, was putting all of my minutes and notes together. And back in May of 2011 is when we first started looking at this as a, a potential. So 12, 13, 14, where it worked three years out from when we actually started studying this kind of a break breakout. So I, I think it's great that we're to the point of saying let's move forward with this model and uh, tweak as necessary. So I would move that we uh, approve this, uh, this plan um, budgeting for our dispatch center and, and cost structure associated with it and to modify as necessary if and when others join onto the cog. We've heard the motion. 
I would offer a second to that motion if I may. Second. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. 